All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Thursday, October 17th, set today by Paul. He's usually good for a laugh. Sometimes works blue, but let's see what he has for us today. Form being praised after reversal, sharp turn. Well, the first part could be the word play. After, and then we reverse something for form being praised. Oh, well, that seems a lot to fit into six letters. But then is the definition a sharp turn? Zigzag? Uh, I don't think that's it. All right, let's try some downs. Embroider no more, say. Oh, is that a cryptic definition? Oh, embroider is nine letters. Could it be a very cunning anagram? Yeah, I don't see it. Um, able to kill all with the motive. Ah. Yeah, I don't see what that would be. I'm thinking, excuse me, able to kill is the definition, like fatal, mortal. No. All right. Ooh. God takes rat run, cycling in Giro d'Italia, say. Uh, something to do. Is that a, uh, is that like the Tour de France of bicycle race? Cycling, of course, in wordplay can mean cycling the letters of a word, the end letter goes to the beginning, and so on. And, of course, rat run was an answer um, in one of the early crosswords I did on video, and I hadn't heard that term before. It's when you drive the side streets to avoid traffic. Um, but that could be an anagram, like a god, and then... Inside it, you have an anagram of rat, maybe, or rat plus R for run. And of course, then the cycling. Yeah, don't quite get it. Um, painter of fantastic scenes with my eye by my ear. Well, I'm wondering if it is a... Uh, a painter, and it's going to be maybe a homophone by my ear. It's going to mean something with my eye. Um, who is a painter of fantastic scenes? Um, Blake or um, oh, Bosch, Hieronymus Bosch. Oh, um, my eye, actually. My mother used to say that. Oh, my eye. I like to say rubbish. So maybe it is Bosch. Um, how about might contractor, contractor, pen records or records? Um, I'm not sure I get might can be power. So I wonder if it is a word for that. And a contractor pens or goes around records could be LPs, EPs. Oh, um, a pen could be a bic. I was just thinking about EPs in a word, and I thought of biceps. And that would give us a B for Bosch. I'm um, only about 70% confident in those, I would say. Well, let's see what the C would do for South American. Hothead in bed, attention seeker embracing peace. 
I'm wondering if it is a South American. Colombian is too long. Hot head might be the letter H, the head of the word hot. In bed, oh, in a cot, maybe, or a crib. Now what's an attention seeker uh, embracing? Peace could be pax or calm. No, I don't see that. How about drink in box? Uh, I think it's a double definition. A drink might be punch. So I think that's right. All right, let's go back to the acrosses. Uh, retina operated upon after I will find sloth. Okay, so I think retina, six letters, if that's operated upon or anagrammed after the letter I, I think we have inertia, which might be sloth. All right, dark, dark color, one lining bag. Uh, one lining bag seems like the definition we're going to have Maybe a word for dark and then a dark color. Oh, maybe then one lining is like we put an eye inside of those two and we get a bag. I don't see one. All right. We have a couple of 15 letter answers here. High Street Trader is worker in Liverpool say sun into urban music so i think it must be a high street trader is it a high street chain or just a general person you would see on the high street no i don't uh, worker in liverpool It must be wordplay, but I don't... Is there a slang Liverpudlian term for a worker? Or is it going to be our old friend, the ant, that somehow goes inside? A, oh, Liverpool, say, could be a football team or a port. Um, and then Sun, I think, is going to put an S. Urban music could be rap. Rasp? No. <laughs> All right, how about... Oh, this is a reference to 18 across. I think we'll come back to that. Um, apology appropriate after a whoopsie lands on King Charles's head. <sighs> Immediately think of Frank Spencer. Back in the day, everyone had to be able to do an impersonation of Frank saying the cat did a whoopsie on the carpet. Um, I presume it's going to be, be an apology and we're going to put appropriate could be, oh, it could be appropriate, but I think it might be apt. After whoopsie, oh, could whoopsie be an anagram indicator? Maybe for the word after? And then landing on king could be R or K, and then Charles's head might just be the C. Yeah, I don't get it. How about tool for mincing beef? Oh, maybe it's tool for mincing, and then a beef uh, disagreement, a fight. A tool for mincing. No. A principle made redundant in awkward dispute. Almost uh, seems like a hidden clue. But... Um, oh, could it be a, a word for awkward 
and we lose its first letter, its principal letter is made redundant, and that gives us a word for dispute. No, I can't think of a five-letter word for awkward. All right, let's look at the other 15-letter. A steadying hand I supply now. A steadying hand. Look at all those three-letter words. Um, no, I'm lost on that. I'm going to go back to the downs. Oh, here we go. Where emergency service building would have Irish plague. Ah. Oh. I'm, yeah, I'm confident this is going to be very clever, but I have no idea where emergency service building what would that be fire station fire brigade firehouse um hospital of course would have irish plague is the, is irish plague slang for something i'm afraid of what it might be um Yeah, I'm wondering if the word begins with in, and that would answer the question, where emergency service building? In, uh, but I don't get it. All right, slippery surface, tricky ultimately, delicate drop shot, lousy. Yeah, so I'm thinking it might be a slippery surface, uh, like a skating rink, or tricky ultimately will be a Y. Is the Y the first letter of this? Um, and then delicate. It could be a, just a synonym, and then drop shot lousy. Ah, oh, yeah, I was thinking maybe we anagram drop shot, but then that's eight letters. We only need one other, which would be the tricky ultimately. And then delicate would be superfluous too much. No. Nope. Worshipper, none after conversion, welcoming it with song. Well, conversion definitely sounds like anagram. Um, so is it just none? And the definition is worshipper. Welcoming it with song. No. Uh, Paul, for example, the thief of time. Well, Paul referring to himself, or of course could be the Apostle Paul, um, the thief of time. No, I, I, but I think there is a, um, isn't there a phrase about something is the thief of time? Yeah, yeah, it's at the back of my mind. All right, how about um, smart as a crocodile? No. Uh, sticker alongside that might be silver. No. Is it a spelling book? Uh, well, immediately, because of the question mark, thinking it's another kind of spell, a magic spell. So is it a magic... Um, yeah, what would a magician call there? I'm sure it's in Harry Potter, which I haven't read or seen. Um, yeah, oh my goodness, very... Very poor showing, but I uh, still have some acrosses to do. Get a hack 
to dictate for author. I presume it's going to be a, an author. Get a hack to dictate. Uh, Tolstoy comes to mind, but I don't see how that would work. Uh, do we hack our anagram get a um, and then a three letter word for to dictate? No. Uh, whippersnapper committed perjury. It's understood. Uh, okay, well, I immediately think thought of when I saw committed perjury, just an ending of lied. And if it's understood, I think it's imp lied. So the whippersnapper is an imp. Uh, cross with leader on breaking free after evacuation of Hungary. Well, the evacuation of Hungary is the HY. Um, I'm wondering if it's hyphen, cross, oh no, maybe hybrid. Yeah, so the leader on breaking is B, and if you're free of something, you're rid of it. So I think it's a hybrid is a cross. Um, barrel loaded by negative force, taking down various characters. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a word for barrel. Short, it would have to be very short. Tub or keg. And that's loaded. Is a negative force an ion? And that's going to mean taking down various characters. Or maybe something in a language like writing um, shortening, like a, something for abbreviation. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Keg with ion inside of it. No. What else could the negative force be? I think chi is a life force, right? I don't think it's going to be that. No. All right, did those uh, letters of hybrid help me? Sticker alongside that might be silver. Anything to do with hi-ho silver? Is it just some word that if you put sticker beside it, it could be, oh, silver metal, of course, like coming second. Um, no. Um, and, oh, so it's not magic. Is it a spelling book? What else could that be? No, and are smart as a crocodile. I mean, could it start with as a... No. Our, uh, yeah, procrastinator is too long. Paul is a compiler. Or a setter. Would compiler fits, but um, no, don't see how that would work. Yeah, um, don't get that one either. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really struggling with this Thursday crossword. No, I uh, pause there to clear my throat and just looking over these, I've absolutely no idea where to go other than let me try the anagram helper 
and to see if this might be an anagram of embroider. No more say, quote the raven nevermore. No, maybe it's just something, a word that might break up to mean embroider no more, like uh, cease sewing or um, no, yeah, where's the, the B going to go? I like B-R-E. Breed. No. Trime robe. No. Oh my goodness. There was able to kill all with the motive. Yes, I think it might be a word for all, and then what's the motive? The end, maybe? And here, maybe I need to Google Giro d'Italia. Is it like a track something? Um... Yeah. Oh, could it be a god or a name for god? No, I'm going to look up the Giro. Yes, it is a cycling race, also known as the Tour of Italy. And it is a part of a, a grand tour. So I think maybe going along with the uh, Tour de France and others. Um, so I think... Uh, what do I think? I think we might have a rat, well, rat run. Yeah, rat run is six plus God. And I think it's just an anagram of all of those letters. And I think that might be it. I'm not confident again. All right. So, oh, maybe this is zigzag. Let me put it in and uh, I just think of zig and zag. Um, form being praised after reversal, gaz giz, sharp turn. Well, could uh, three down start with a Z, able to kill. No, I don't think so. And two down could start with an I. But what would three down be? Able to kill. Not Cain and Abel. Um, I can just think of Zither. All right, well, what else could this be ending? Well, it could be an ING word, of course. Form being praised after reversal. Sharp turn. No. And my South American hothead, um... I wonder if it could be Che Guevara. Was, is he a, considered a South American hothead? Um, oh, South American could be Chilean. Is that part of it? And then it's embracing peace, maybe is the definition. Conciliatory or... Um, 
something, and then my Irish plague. No. Good lord, this is very, very tricky. I am enjoying it, but just um, so difficult. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, maybe I should concentrate on the long ones. I'm going to pause and think about it what phrase might fit in there. Well, I didn't get anywhere with that, other than to wonder if the second three-letter word might be the. I'm, maybe I'm something for the something. Uh, but then I did look back at this one, and I looked up... Um, a thesaurus for words for dispute, and I saw a tiff, and so I think awkward is stiff, and it does lose its principal letter. So that F, who should be helpful, except, let's see, is it a spelling book? Um, wow, that F is very interesting. Um, Ending in field, or maybe it's like a compound word where the f first part ends in F. Is it, is it a spelling book? Oh, I'm sure it's very obvious, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, not, um, yeah, maybe it is some book about wizards, um, no, don't see it. And then we just get another eye for our worshipper nun. Yes, I think it might be. Might be some member of some religious sect. Yeah, let me pause and think about religions. Ah, yes, yeah, so I, I, I went back to thinking again about that nun after conversion, and, well, there's not many ways you can anagram that. And so I thought, oh, maybe uh, that goes around the it, and a song as an air, I think. Oh, no, an aria, of course. Sorry, a song is an aria. Yeah, I had it in my mind I'd have air in there. But, of course, it's an aria. There we go, a Unitarian. Oh, my goodness. Uh, look at almost 30 minutes and <laughs> very little to show for it. Oh, um, I wonder, it, of course, I don't know about the the, but um, something in the arm, not a shot in the arm, a steadying hand, I supply. The now makes me think there's something about time here. But I don't see it. Well, um, what would the H do for smart as a crocodile? Whip it, whippy, chappy, choppy. Oh, snappy. Ah, yes. I think I've heard jokes before <laughs> where certainly there's one about bring me a crocodile sandwich and make it snappy. Um, but I think I've also heard like alligators giving a snappy answer. Um, ah, so maybe it's and. It's 
something leg and arm an arm and a leg all right well if snappy is right that y here ooh um yeah taking down various loaded by negative I wonder if that could be nay backwards taking down no taking down various characters I mean maybe it is a, an ing word oh um ah ke a keg I did say earlier and I think the negative force is yin as opposed to yin and yang um now how is that taking I suppose if you're keying I suppose if someone is dictating to refer to another clue then you're keying them in taking down various characters not sure about that all right I am wondering if this is some kind of say I would say skating rink but I'm wondering if there is a skate rink what um let me put that in and see if i can work out the word play i see the tricky ultimately suggests there must be a y in there delicate drop shot lousy yeah i'm not too confident about that our apology we do have an o and a u that we're sure of no i'm not seeing it there's my tool for mincing beef so uh must be I would think a vowel in there R E A tool for mincing beef maybe it's a tool saw um axe What's the last word? Break, cream, dream, bread, dread. No. Oh, let me go back. I shouldn't have abandoned my skate rink. Yeah, I think I'm past the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to do check this. No. Ah, funnily that ink is in there. Anyway, um, slippery surface oh ah i think lousy is the definition and so there is a rink there but uh that's the slippery surface then the y from the end of tricky and then um delicate drop How is that dink? Uh, maybe if, like you give you um oh a delicate drop shot. Oh yeah, sorry, in tennis you dink the ball over the net. That's it. Let's just check it to be sure. Yes. Well, that was a very tricky one. Did ah, it does give us a nice Y at the end of the first three letter word. something something try and any any end um is it an anagram of a steadying hand 
No, I think uh, A steadying is 9, plus hand eye is only 14. Yeah, don't see it. All right, here's the apology appropriate. Oh, I think the first word might be your. I'm wondering if maybe it is some the King Charles's head is the definition. Like your majesty, your something. Apology appropriate. Or maybe it is an apology. I can't think of an apology that would begin with your. Your, you know, usually say my fault or you might say you something. What would be your. How could it have something to do with tossing a coin and something lands with on King Charles's head? Oh my goodness, cannot get that at all. No. Um, and then, oh yeah, I need to look at my high street trader. Son. into urban music. Yeah, let me pause and think about that one. Well, I realized that, you know, I thought that must be and something and something, and then I thought shop, and then uh, I thought of a fish and chip shop. Is that the right terminology? So worker in Liverpool say ah hip hop is the urban music. All right, so I'm confident now. Um so Liverpool say oh is worker ah is 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 and a worker is a hand. Liverpool FC of course I should have thought of that. And my goodness, all right. Now, here's my emergency service building in um, No, I cannot think of anything for that. Uh, we do get a nice P there, South American hothead. Embracing peace, maybe? No. Um, I was one of those uh, South American football players who were a bit of a hothead. Um, oh, what's the name of the guy who goes around eating ears? Um, no, I'm not getting that. And there's my dark, dark color one lining bag. No. Oh, we do have a P here now for our um, spelling book. Oh, David Copperfield fits. Um, how is it a spelling book? Is it a spelling book? Oh, I think it's a reference to the magician David Copperfield, but mm, I, yeah, I don't like that one. Um, apart from the fact he turns out to be an awful person. Um, yeah, I think that's a bit, bit of a stretch if that is correct. All right. Who's her dark? Oh, I'm wondering if it, yeah, I think it might be a uh, satanic, which is pretty dark. Um, 
the dark color is tan, I think, plus one, and they line or go inside of SAC. I think that's how to read that one. All right. Um, catapult would fit. But that's not embracing peace, certainly. What else could it be? Yeah, I think I'm going to go to word plays.com all right i'm very uh glad i went to word plays there are only uh six possibilities although some of them are multiple words but there was an ecuadorian volcano still is i'm sure cotto paxi that erupted in 1940 so that's a south american hothead is the volcano the bed is caught and attention seeker ah is oi something you call out to attract attention and that embraces pax for peace uh -uh. ah so it's not your i think it's a maybe a poor excuse ah yes so uh some bathroom humor from paul the whoopsie is poo. The king is Rex. And um, let's see. Oh, I think to appropriate might be to use. And that comes after the poo, the Rex, and Charles's head is that C. Very tricky. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, very tricky one today. Uh, so let's see. Oh, in this day and age would mean now. Uh, I do like the uh, clues when it turns out the definition is just some small part that you might easily overlook. I think the, the definition is now in this day and age. Maybe it is an anagram, and maybe I miscounted. Oh, I did miscount. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought steadying was eight letters, but it is nine. Uh, ten, and then hand, I. Yes. So they those letters supply, if they're anagrammed, is implied something for now. Oh, my goodness. I, I need to be more careful with my counting. Uh, what's that going to help me with? Let's try the sticker alongside that. Might be silver. No idea. Oh. So 23. Ah, so yes, I think it's nab is to get. And the hack, if you, well, which I do in my videos, and I do apologize, but I'm more to be pitied than censured. I do cough a lot. So dictate is implying a homophone. Get a hack, nab a cough. There we go. All right, so now, uh, Tubby, Tabby, oh, Tabby cat might be silver. I think it's Tubby or Tabby. I'm going to go with Tabby. Let's check it. It is right, but I don't fully understand it. Um, ah, well, I do. I think I see the work play now. A sticker might be a tab. Is that right? And alongside is by. I just don't get the might be silver, but I'm thinking maybe tabby cats can be silver in color. All right, here's Paul, for example, the thief of time. Yeah, it must be ER. 
Is it I N K I S K I L K? I wonder if Paul, for example, might be saint, and maybe it starts with S T. And then the thief. But then of time question mark. No. Tool for mincing beef. Oh, uh, something grind. I think might be, you know, a grinder for mincing beef. Oh, axe to grind. <laughs> yes, ah, that's clever. All right. Ah, uh, so it's not saint. Um, thief of time. Yeah, I'm going to pause and run through the alphabet again for the first letter. Well, I went through the alphabet and I couldn't find uh, a word, so I had to use wordplays.com and uh, the word moniker. So Paul is an example of a name, a moniker, and thief of time, question mark, mo, short for moment, nicker, a thief. So uh, very tricky again. Um, so now in emergency service building would have Irish plague. Information fits. Oh, how about inflammation? Uh, how many M's in inflammation are, but yeah, um, we're an emergency service building, but I don't even get how either one, information, inflammation, I think I'm going to go with information, let me check that, no, let's reveal it, infestation. Okay, um, don't immediately get that. Other than, I think it might be in fire station, minus the IR for Irish. Yeah, so I think if that infestation, so I think plague is the definition and if you put Irish inside it, you would get an emer where an emergency service building would have that. <laughs> in, uh, it's doing my head in thinking about it, but I think that's how to read it. We'll check at 15 squared. Ah, I never went back to this one, but now that we have our TIFF, 18 across, we're soft. Touches rejected. Oh. So tiff or soft, maybe is the S. Touches rejected. Like, do we remove the T? No, I have no idea what that is. Um... Here was the one I thought might be zigzag, but then if able to kill all with the motive. No, and what's about our embroider no more? All right, well, at least with the S, I know it's not an anagram of embroider. Um... Yeah, finding that very tricky too. All right, I'm going to put in zigzag so I can bring this nightmare to an end and uh, check it. No. Ah, funnily the G's are again. I'm being uh, surprised by what is left. 
So form, of course, could be a class uh, being praised after reversal. Sharp turn. What's another word? It must be another similar zigzag. Big wig. Um, yeah, it could be an ing word. Sharp turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and reveal this one. Oh, a dog leg. Oh, I should definitely have got a dog leg as a sharp turn, of course. I have played golf in my life very badly. But uh, yes. So let's see. Form being praised. After reversal. Something to do with gel god? I don't get that one. I can see maybe if something gels, it forms. But being praised after reversal. No. Don't get it. All right, but we do have now, oh, lethal, of course, able to kill. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. And it's um, all with the motive. Uh, I don't think it's a hidden clue, although we have a lot of those letters there. Ah, so it's an anagram of all and the, and I think motive, I think there's a, uh, a meaning of it as an adjective, meaning mobile or moving around. Um, but we'll check 15 squared for that. All right, just our embroider, no more, say... Um, yeah, I think to embroider something maybe is to over, over what it, over stitch it, over, over something. No, I'm going to go ahead and reveal that one. Overstate. Yeah, I can see that. And so no more is over, and to say is to state. All right. Oh, dear. All right, now our, our soft touches. Oh, maybe it's another word then for a tiff. And I think it's going to be a word for soft touches backwards. Well, I'm thinking of... Um, Pats, of course, um, but that would be stap backwards. Is that a word? Oh, no, a spat. Ah, taps, of course. I had it the other way around. A spat is a tiff. There we go. All right, 53 minutes plus whatever pause time I had in there. Let me go ahead and check all. Oh, I misspelled Nabokov. Uh... Now let's check all. All right, so I had another one wrong. Let me make a note of that. All right, let's head over to 15 squared and see if they liked this or not. All right, the blog today is by Andrew. Uh, he did appreciate there were multiple cross-referenced. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Uh, there were a few clues where you couldn't see the wordplay at first. All right, dog leg. Ah, so form and then a being that is praised. Oh, my goodness, is the definition for God. <sighs> That's great. All right. Uh, satanic, yeah, it is tan plus one in sack. I got the fish and chip shop. I think I got all the other acrosses. 
Sounds like Nabokov, yeah. Yin is the negative force, all right. Uh, so the Tao's lethal. Yeah, motive means moving. Ah, I, that was at the back of my mind. Infestation, we would need to insert IR to get in fire station. Yeah, tricky. And the rinky, a dink is a drop shot. Ah, so that's North American slang. All right. So having lived here, I I didn't even think twice about that. Uh, 21. Oh, I see. Andrew includes the old joke. He just says, bring me a crocodile and make it snappy. Uh, 21 tabby. Ah, uh, silver tabby is a kind of cat. All right. And sure enough, David Copperfield... American magician, eh, I didn't like that, but otherwise I did enjoy it. Yeah, I heard actually a podcast recently about Nabokov, um, and they were pronouncing it funny, because all our lives I think we've said Nabokov. Um, anyway... Yeah, so I think a lot of people had uh, some issues, some tricky ones today, although SINCAM easier than most. Yeah, all right. Well, that was... Uh, oh, did I parse Bosch? Uh, yes, sure enough, it is the homophone of nonsense, my eye. Anyway, I did enjoy it. Hope you did too. Thanks as always for watching and have a great day.